This is Tom Duty, middle-aged American living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search for my site. Leon Russell dies, born 1942, died this morning, 2016. November 13th, 2016, this report by Reuters, 9.58 a.m. Eastern. Leon Russell, musician known for dynamic performances, dies at 74 by Bill Trott. Leon Russell, who emerged in the 70s as one of rock and roll's most dynamic performers and songwriters, after playing anonymously on dozens of Pops hits as a much in-demand studio pianist in the 1960s, died on Sunday at age of 74, according to his website. Russell, who was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2011, died in his sleep in Nashville, Tennessee, his wife said in a statement on the website. Russell had endured health problems in his later years, undergoing surgery to stop leaking brain fluid in 2010. Heart attack, July 2016. Russell's period of stardom as a performer was relatively brief, but Elton John, who had once been Russell's opening act, engineered a comeback for him. In 2010, when they collaborated on an album titled The Union, he was my biggest influence as a piano player, a singer, a songwriter. John told ABC News. Russell recorded more than 35 albums and also excelled as a songwriter for other performers. His A Song For You was recorded by Joe Cocker, The Carpenters, The Temptations, Neil Diamond, R Lou Rawls, Dusty Springfield, Ray Charles, Aretha Franklin, and his good friend Willie Nelson. The Carpenters, Reddy, Shirley Basie, Robert Goulet, George Benson, all covered Russell's The Masquerade, with Benson's version winning a 76 Grammy as Record of the Year. Russell was known as the master of space and time. In his 70s heyday, he wore a cocked top hat and with salt and pepper hair past his shoulders and a beard that reached his chest, created an inscrutable image that was equal part shaman, tent revival preacher, and cosmic ring master. He ruled the stage with piano banging abandon backed by a multi-piece band and a backup chorus put on a show that was a rolling stew of rock, soul, gospel, and country. He was born Claude Russell Bridges on April 2nd, 1942. and grew up in Tulsa, Oklahoma area. He was playing in bars at age 14 and joined a band that included Jay J. Kale, who also would go on to music stardom. That's J.J. Kale, C-A-L-E. Russell moved to Los Angeles as American music was taking new shape. He became part of a talented pool of studio musicians known informally as the Wrecking Crew, who provided backup for pop and rock hits 
of the early and mid 60s, including those by Jan, Jan and Dean, Beach Boys, The Monkeys, The Birds. Russell was also part of producer Phil Spector's trademark Wall of Sound recording team. Russell also played guitar, worked as an arranger, songwriter, and piano player for the house band on the popular television dance show Shindig. He eased into the spotlight in the 70s as a driving force on Joe Cocker's landmark Mad Dogs and Englishman tour. Russell assembled the 20-piece band, which came with a legend on Hangers On, and served as a leader on the riotous two-month U.S. tour that spawned a double-disc live album and a documentary film. His work with Cocker, an appearance in the film about George Harrison's 1971 concert for Bangladesh, and his first solo, solo album, which featured contributions from three Rolling Stones and two Beatles, made Russell a star in his own right in 1970. 1969, Russell and Denny Cordell started Shelter Records, which put out recordings by Russell, Kale, Freddie King, Tom Petty, the, and the Heartbreakers, and Phoebe Snow. After his rock stardom faded, Russell adopted the alter ego of Hank Wilson for several albums of country classics that let him turn loose his Oklahoma twang. Although he concluded, although he continued recording and touring, Russell was far from the spotlight in the 90s and 2000s until he and Elton John recorded The Union and went on a short joint tour. He said he was inspired to collaborate when he was moved to tears upon rehearing Russell's song, Back to the Island. Russell, who had to have surgery because of leaking brain fluid a week before going into the studio, said he was the first time he had heard from John in 35 years. If Leon can get the accolades he deserves and be financially okay for the rest of his life, I will have done something decent with my music, <laughs> John told the New York Times. The Russell written song, If It Wasn't For Bad, Off, The Union received a Grammy nomination. Reporting by Bill Trott. Additional reporting by David Ingram. Editing by James Doglish. <sighs> this has been Tom Duty, middle-aged American living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search from my site. Thank you for listening. Have a good day, good evening, a restful night's sleep. Ciao. Leon Russell.